Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to scan QR code from mobile to laptop. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, you might be wondering how do you scan a QR code on your laptop here that actually came from your mobile. Well, the first thing you need to do here is you need to have the actual QR code or the uh, picture of that QR code into your laptop. Now, in this case, if you if you have a screenshot of it, you could go ahead and email this to yourself. So in this case, you could use Yahoo or Google. Just basically email the actual uh, QR code to yourself. Now, from here, you could go ahead and open up your email on your um, browser here. And from here, you could go ahead and access the send option or the send uh, tab here. So in this case, go ahead and open up send and you should be able to see the actual email that, that you actually sent to yourself, which in this case is this one. So in this case, you could go ahead and download that specific screenshot that you got, like what I did right now. So yeah, so once you've got that specific um, uh, QR code, you're now ready to start using it on our laptop. Now, in this case, what we need to do is we need to go to Google. So let's just type in google.com. And from here, once in Google, what we need to do is we just need to type in the following. We're just going to be QR code scanner. From here, just press and enter. Now, you should be able to see different websites here that you could basically use for scanning QR codes. In this case, we'll be using the web QR website. Let's go ahead and choose this one. Now from here, you have two options on the website. We have the option to basically use our camera to scan a specific QR code, or we could just upload ourselves by clicking on the camera or other camera icon here. So once you click on it, you have the option to choose a file. Let's go and choose file here. And let's go and choose the QR code that we had and just click on open. Now at the bottom of that specific square section, you should be able to see your key result. So that includes the Wi-Fi here, which is going to be the T, which is true, the WPA here, the password itself, the name of the Wi-Fi, and the H section. Now, the most two important section here is going to be the P and S section. So S would contain the actual name of your Wi-Fi, and P will contain the password or the Q, uh, the uh, passcode for your Wi-Fi, which in this case, you could go and just copy this one enter it into your uh, connection here. And from then on, you should be able to start using it. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.